Well, you mentioned Kodak Black. Yes. He got pardoned. Yes. Uh, he did about half his time. Yes. Not quite sure how that came together. It might have been a bag that was floating uh, along yeah, the way. Yeah, yes. Uh, Harry O. Yes. Got pardoned. Number one, do you know Harry O? I know Harry O very well. Very well. Let me tell you how far. See, I know everybody. <laughs> me and Harry O go way back to the Magic Johnson days. Okay. Me, Harry O, his cousin, we used to all hang out. Harry O's to treat me so good. And Harry O used to do plays. This is when L.A. was big on plays. And he had Denzel Washington. I heard about this. In yeah. the plays before Denzel was huge. Him, the young lady from um, the Jeffersons, the young lady played the maid, Florence. Oh, uh, you're talking about, I mean, we interviewed her. Um, Marla Gibbs. Marla Gibbs. Yeah. All these people back in the day. So, um, as our relationship started to grow, he got into that situation and we haven't spoke to each other in 30 something years. But me and his relationship goes way back to like 82, 83, 84. Now, Harry O is very flashy. Yes. Yeah, he sure is. Very flashy. Yes. And I remember even after he helped found Death Row, he even told Suge not to be that flashy. Right. He said, the flashier, flashier you are, the quicker you're heading to prison. Yes. Uh, but he himself was very flashy. He helped co-found Death Row. Yes. I heard there was another guy, there was a money guy in the mix as well. Okay. Who, who was out now, who just doesn't want any piece of it. Because right. Because he's, he's out. But there was a financer. Harry O was involved. Right. Uh, and Snoop was involved in getting him. Yes, I saw that. Getting him out. Yes. Because I was talking to one of Harry O's people, and they were actually like, giving me info about this whole thing and, and sharing certain things with me that I can't put out myself. Right. But I'm like, okay, Snoop is really involved in this. Yes. This is not just mm -hmm. a PR thing. Right. I wonder why Snoop put such a big push behind Harry O because the two of them probably have never even met. Maybe right. if he visited him in prison, Maybe. but not out in the street. Right. Well, he didn't know him when I know because Snoop wasn't even thinking about yeah, rapping in 83. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, you just never know what inspires people as time goes on, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, you could say Snoop could look at it as, well, were it not for Harry O, there would be no death row and there would be no Snoop. Right, So right. I feel that there's some sort of karmic thing and I, I got to... never question you again, Tom Brady. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Like, when somebody gets something right with me that's so big, I always give them the benefit of the doubt. And when I bet against Tom Brady when they played against Atlanta and they was up 28-3, and by the time my plane land, I saw that it came back and won. I said, I would never bet against Tom Brady ever again. I've kept my word. So when you say stuff like that, even though I might think something different, I'm going to always give you the benefit of the doubt, Vlad. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to hear his first interview. Yes, exactly. If he you does know, one. I heard he will. Oh, good, good, good. I heard he will. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm going to do it. Right. Maybe I will. Right. Maybe I won't. And if you do mention me, he'll he'll yeah, tell you. I will. TK. I will. Yeah, that's my I, I man. I will. I will.